Hi guys, hello low aspirants, your vocabulary, moving on in full swing I hope, very good, excellent, that's what we really want from you. Comprehension, understanding, very important, you have been told various epigrams like travel hopefully is better than arrive, this is your booster, this is your boosting, this is your Bon Vita cup which we offer you every day so that you don't lose heart. This heart, this dampening your spirits is going to be a very negative impact, so this boosting is there every day, 15 minutes. See some students I came to know. I'm watching all the videos together, assembling them. And there are some people who have been, you know, watching it every day. My suggestion would be manage your 15 minutes. It's not difficult. See, it's just a matter of your priorities, how you adjust in life, how you make up the things. That's not very difficult. We do it. You can also do it. And as human beings, we have been given by God the best of the mind, the best of the things. So why not use it in the proper perspective? Yes. Ready. So the route for today. See the long list of the routes that I have prepared for you, so many. I did a recap of some of the important routes and the confusion which was there related to them. And now I am taking up the uh, route related to it, that is the route Sid or Sis. This was taken up in the last section and I told you that there are many routes linked with this which also have to be kept in mind. And then... We had uh, the other route that is drag or drag that is to pull something. We had a tur route. Please note this. We had done earlier that is related to land, right? This was the track route we did earlier that was drag or pull something, attract something, fascinate something, allure, enticing, captivating, pulling, mesmerizing. You have that power. You have that gift by which you can pull people towards you. Yes, the world is in your fist. And then the next word that we did was per, that is thoroughly or completely. We did the root matter, we did the root patter and we also have done the root that is ag in the sense of something that you do, you act or you drive out of it. That is the root here. Now turning up to the next root that is again a very very interesting root that is a new root. I did not do it earlier. No revision, fresh root. Right. So fresh root is the word posit. Posit is to be placed or to put it into something that is posit to place an idea before position, how you are placed, place how you are placing that thing. You are very positive about it. You know, positive is a positive word. Only Corona has made positive negative, right? So, things change, perceptive change. So, posit is your position or the place. This is a very interesting route when you are applying it to various words in this. Posit is placed or put over something. Now, when you have a position, we all have a position in our society. That is the position that we make by our work, by our deeds, by our endeavors, by our hard work, by our, you know, elbow grease. Yes, this is what is our position where you are placed and you are responsible for it. Be positive, that means be very sure and good in something. Deposit, that is an action that valuables are placed into a financial account. You place something, this act as a kind of a place, a thing where you deposit something. Post is a spot where you are placed for duty and a position is a state or condition of being placed against. See these words all meaning in the sense of yes, all meaning in the sense of position. Everything where you place something. What is your position of life is determined by your hard work. Be positive in life. Where you deposit your money, you must keep a slip about it, a note about it. And the word, he is in opposition to the party or he stands in opposition to the rivals. That is the antagonistic attitude towards something. The next words in this category. Supposition. Suppose is imagination. A kind of a thing or a theory, a guess. It's a surmise. Please note. It's an anticipation. It's an estimation. It's a guess. It's an idea. In fact, a logical one, 
where you anticipate the thing that this is going to happen that is the word supposition. Proposition is a propo proposal which is placed for to solve a problem. Any problem that is solved is by a proposition. Opposite is placed against not in favor of. We could use this word please note anti that is the root we use against or the word somebody what is antagonize right decomposition when we have the root d does it mean positive or negative come on students you have been doing so much yes very good that means something negative. Decomposition is a state or condition of being apart from something. You do not place that thing in a proper form, decompose that thing. In fact, you break that thing. You do not allow that thing to grow. It is kind of a thwarting the problem, not allowing that thing to happen. Opposite. Now, A double P O S I T and A O double P O S I T. Very, very important words. This is a suitable idea placed near problem to solve it. It has a lot of positivity in it. You can see this. This is an opposite. That means the best idea, the suitable idea, the right idea which could be there. That means, in fact, something, something which in aid or a help to solve the problem, right? Composite matter from the root co. What is co? Yes, co means together. So, you place something together in the form of it. So, that that thing works in togetherness. It is a composite matter. It is something which is placed in togetherness, right? Okay. Next word is composition. Composition is a piece of music or a musical piece in which many notes have been placed together. Many things are merged together. That is a composition. You must have an essay composition like essay is a composition. When I was talking of essay, I really want to discuss the Oxford English Dictionary of essay. This is a vocabulary based definition. So, please listen to it very carefully. Right? I have not mugged it up. I prepared it for you so that I can explain you. A loose sally of the mind. An irregular, indigested Piece. not a regular or orderly performance this is the definition given by oxford english dictionary This is a very age old definition, a static definition which has been passed on from generation to generation. What is it essay? You have been writing essay right from your childhood time on mother or computer and 12th class from the higher forms of computer or the green coal. Now, essay is a loose sally of the mind, loose that means it is not tightly knit like a story. It is a sally, sally means what? A kind of a bag in which thoughts are there. What is the, where is this bag? This is our bag in which we put our thoughts. Irregular, indigested, not a regular, not a liner order. See, we won't talk of Mr. and Mrs. Bennett, they had five daughters, then this happened, then that happened. This is a liner order. But it is irregular means you can start from anywhere, you can turn to past, you can turn to future. There are various techniques that have entered into writing skill. That is why when you are reading up a passage, even in the comprehension, you find a new technique which is called the stream of consciousness technique. Please note. This is called a forward backward movement. This is very important for your reading comprehension. The mind, you know, takes lapses of time. You go into the antechamber of the character and you try to peep into his thoughts. 
you are into the anti chamber the character you try to find out what is going on with the character what are the thoughts that he has passing through that is the word here stream of consciousness technique it's used for the oxford english dictionary this is the definition that has been given it's a regular and orderly performance it's a systematic performance of anything something which goes on like a composition that's why when i turn to the word composition i talked of this definition this is a definition which tells you like a difference between an essay because you are reading you are reading an article in a newspaper that is in fact the views of a person so in fact it's an essay right it's in fact an article which is presented by the writer the writer is not bound by time the writer is not bound to form a line or order the writer can move as per his order it's a spontaneous overflow of powerful emotions how your thoughts how your feelings are arranged depends on how you present them so it's just spontaneous you know when i'm writing something i'm doing a writing in my book i'm writing an article in the newspaper as a freelance journalist i can write my thoughts as i want to we all have freedom of thought and then i just prepare that composition and that composition is a product of my mind my thoughts which were there i expose my thoughts i reveal my innermost thoughts and that is why people have started using new techniques of expression and this is one of the most important techniques which has come up in the modern times the complexity arises the obscurity arises because you are not able to decide where is the person here is he there in the present form is he in the past or is in the future because all the three tenses merge together and you are in the anti chamber of the person i would prescribe you especially for this composition a famous novel of anita desai that is fire on the mountain wonderful read based on this technique you want to know what is this technique this is the novel please do read it wonderfully The name of the novel is Fire on the Mountain. Right? And the writer is Anita Desai. It probes deeper and de- deeper into the inner psyche, the inner mentality, the psychological novel, the novel of realism you would enjoy. You know, those who are very fond of reading do read the original novel, and those who are not very fond of reading do read the synopsis of the novel. Like right? this is the storyline form so that you can understand what is the story like. There's a character protagonist Nanda Kaul who has retired from life and she wants to live her life as her as as per she wants. She says, "I've done enough." i had enough now i'm going to do as i want i will not live on anybody's terms it's my life it's my decision which is the final decision it's really worth reading what more i could say about it although i was doing the writing skills i thought of because i was preparing even one of the passages for my sheets i came across this technique is very much common in today's time and this technique is very helpful in understanding passages because you are this word is so interesting you are in anti chamber of the protagonist you are shown the mind of the protagonist we have nothing to do what does the character look like what the character is wearing his outer garb is not important all what is important is his thoughts his innermost kings and that will play very important role i hope you've understood you're going to read this novel thoroughly this will help you if not synopsis there is synopsis 5 minutes nothing much i'm asking you it takes you 5 to 10 minutes to read the synopsis understanding and it's worth reading that's what i could say for it and reading is really going to be a helping uh, most important work a paramount thing for your selection right okay your thumbs up and your subscription thank you